Sir Charles, the doctor wants to see you. Okay. I'll be in his office shortly. All right, sir. Let me go see the doctor. Um, please, I need to get something at all. Okay. What are you following me for? Stay with dad now. Dad is already getting better at it. I don't like the smell of this place. Last one is really here. Okay, let's go. Alright, please. Tell the men to be fast, I mean. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. It's um, as a matter of life, your father's health is deteriorating and it needs immediate attention. So, what do you do, doctor? As a matter of fact, he had a kidney failure. Yeah, and he needs a kidney transplant. Okay, so how do we get this kidney? How do we go about it? A member of the family has to volunteer and donate the kidney for your father. It's a very difficult decision, but you have to. The family has to do that for the sake of your father's life. Miriam. Good day, sir. You should be in the hospital. What have you been doing? I'm so sorry, sir. I'll be very busy with housework. Okay. Do you have transport fare? Yes, sir. All right. You will take this, eh? Add it to... Fat, take off. Take off, please. Buy snacks. Take to Zika. She's at her friend's place. All right? Thank you, sir. Please, hurry up. Okay, sir. to need your kidney and I do that immediately. It's something I have to think over now. You, it doesn't make sense to you. This is a matter of life. Whichever decision you're going to make, it has to be very fast. Remember, it is a matter of life. Meanwhile, I'm going to communicate with your brothers to see what they can do. 
But please do, perfect. Time you're coming here. You were meant to be here since morning. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know I not When you go upstairs, tell Fidelis that I've left. I want to go check out some things in the office. Right. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Sir, I'm so sorry for coming. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, you brought the food, Abby? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll go on my freshen up, okay? Okay, sir. If there's anything you need, you call us. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Make sure you take care of you, okay? Alright, that. You'll be okay, huh? It's okay. Alright, take care of you. I thought uh, you were my older brother. Mm, yeah, I was with him a little while ago, but he already left the hospital premises. Okay, all right. Please, doctor, take care of our dad. He's all you have. Okay? Take care of him. I promise you'll get a huge word from us. All right? Um, anyway, I'm going to do my best. Um, Mr. Felix, please, can I see you briefly in my office? I hope there's no problem. No, no, no problem. Okay. Of course you can. Okay. Very difficult one. We have had such issues here. That's why I want the four of you to put heads together and come to a very positive decision. Don't you want your father to leave? Of course he wants. Who wants his father? Yeah. It's, a very... it's not going to be an easy one. It is not. It's not going to be an easy one. Um, remember, this is a matter of life. So you guys have to be serious about it. Have you taken care of my brothers? Yeah. Mm, I told Charles. I told Charles already. Okay, I have to go see your father now and um, I'll get back to you guys later. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon, Doctor. Yes, good afternoon, Miriam. How are you? You're back? Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. Um, I want to thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you so much. You're doing a great job. Doctor, you don't need to thank me. That is my employer and my boss. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You are doing really a great job and I want to keep up. How is it doing, Doctor? It's getting better as you can see. We keep waiting, but it has to be a gradual process. The nurse is going to administer some medication to him. This is the So I'm praying it's going to get better as soon as possible. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me find it here. Dennis, why is your face like this? Did anything happen? No, nothing really. Then why is your face like that? I'm just coming back from the hospital now. I'm very, very tired at the moment. Okay. You can go in fresh and there's food in the kitchen. No problem, no problem. Let me go. Who would agree to do this? I don't think any of us will. Know. Do we leave our dad to die like that? No. He has been everything to us. But then, who will agree to do this? 
kidney. It's a very big risk. John doesn't even know what is happening. He's just relaxed, eating. Charles, Charles, my man, <laughs> what is your problem? What, just tell me, what is your problem? Or you decided on your own that you will not pick my call? You called me? Yes, I called and called and called. Even I was even calling more than the people that are owing me. I said, what could be the problem? Let me come close and know what is happening. I didn't even know you were calling me. Charles, how will you know that I'm calling? Or how will you know that your phone is ringing? When you are busy thinking and thinking and thinking. My brother, this is not the end of the world. Everyone can fall sick. Yes, I know that you are the first one, probably. <laughs> you might be thinking on how to get the money to get your father off from the hospital. So have fun. How are you doing? Um, Charles, you cannot continue like this. You know very well. Um... As a friend, I will not continue watching you behaving like this. In fact, let me tell you, do you know that this is your mood, this is your recent attitude now is really affecting your job? You just dropped a file at the desk there. And as I'm talking to you now, everybody's complaining that what you're supposed to write, the conclusion, everything, the analysis, everything is wrong. You cannot continue like this now. You know what? Um, you're my friend. If I'm in this position, you will still do it for me. Charles, let's go out to one of these best joint or restaurant and have fun. By the time, I believe that by the time you take one or two bottles, your memory will come back. You will come back to your normal. See, Charles, see, let, let me tell you, the office, everybody is, in fact, we have been affected by this remote because this office is now a dull place. Let's go have some bottles. Yes, let's go, let's go, Charles, let's go. Uh, did you come with your vehicle? Which kind of vehicle? Uh -huh. Just my vehicle has been giving me a problem. I have to pack it there waiting for when the measure of the salary comes. You know, our salary comes in the next month. So if I get my salary, I would not know what to do about if I develop I've tried one. But that is not the story why I'm why I'm here. Let's go to that joint now and enjoy ourselves. Forget about all this thing you have. Since your there. car is not here, we'll use mine. No. Who we'll use yours, but you will not be the one to drive because you cannot drive me in this your state of mind. <laughs> Mark, no yes. problem. No problem. Please, oh, sorry, before I forget, come with your ATM because I'm having a problem with my pin. <laughs> <laughs> Just us, Mark, Mark. We have a lot to talk about. See, change this your phone. <laughs> All right. Okay, no. Please, how is it? 
It's getting better. But you will find the key. You will find. You can do it. Do what? We are talking about giving your father one of your kidneys and you are asking me. Is it a big deal? You know I drink a lot so my kidneys obviously Are you damaged. the one to say that your kidney is bad or are you the one to say that it's good? Huh? So all you need to do now is just go there and give yourself to the doctor so that the doctor will do the necessary things for your father to be alive. Why don't you give him your own? Am I your family member? Well, um, have you discussed this thing with your siblings? I mean, your family members, your brothers and your sister? I've not discussed this with them. And then what if I just discuss it with them and they all ask me to donate my kidney? My brother, you not do it now. <laughs> I just want to be sure that you've discussed with the family members. If they not said, okay, after all, you are the senior brother, you are the daughter right here. You are the eldest. <laughs> Um, but on the other way around, if they say no, I think you people should start considering uh, um, uh, what's that boy name? Uh, uh, Fidelix. Fidelix. Yes, Fidelix is the last one. So let him be the one to volunteer and do it. So that your father will live for you people. Uh -huh. And you are talking about uh, 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 this thing. Give your father the kidney so that the man will live. Come and give him your own. My brother, your father is not my father. And you cannot be telling me to take my own and give it to your father. How many are you there? You, the other one, Fifth Idelis, and even your sister. Fidelis should be the one to volunteer because from what, what I'm seeing, your father loves him so much. Then, in the other way around, if Fidelis refuse, you, as the eldest, should be the one to volunteer and do it. Yes. I need to tell you Please tell them to get me one more bottle. One more bottle? Yes. I'm not doing it. I'm one for the road. I'm going. Okay. All right, it's okay. Let's go and see your father. Okay. Hope you're prepared. Wait now. Ah, you are rushing. This is my silly pass. The doctor just came in, examined him and left. Then the nurse came in, gave him injection and drip. Thanks a whole lot for your words of encouragement. 
make a meaningful love to me. Charles, I beg, I beg, stop saying that. You are my very good friend. At this point in time, I need to be there for you. Because I'm very, very sure that if I am the one, you would definitely be there for me. So, don't talk like that, eh? Charles? Yeah. Take care of yourself. Sure thing. Take care of your siblings. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Be strong, man. Sure. All right. You guys were not the hospital today. I'll go to Mama. Same here, me and Miss Jane. Well, I'm just coming from there. How is he? No issues. Um, but I'd like to have a conversation with you guys. Okay, no problem. doesn't even know the real condition that is in. The doctor diagnosed him of any new ailments. That kidney is bad now. So, um, one of you has to donate a kidney to help save that life. Charles, if anybody is donating kidney, it should be you. You are the first son, or maybe Fidel is the favorite son of dad. Not me, practically. Huh? Ah. Ah. If there's anyone meant to donate kidney here, it's Charles. He's the eldest. <laughs> uh, so it has gotten to donating kidney now. I'm, I'm automatically the eldest. Yes, I know I'm the first son, but now all of you are calling me the eldest son. Charles is the only one who is good to risk his life now, Abby. Um, all of you know that uh, donating a kidney to dad is nothing. But the problem is, uh, it's this my drinking habit. You know I drink a lot, even though you don't see me drink always at home, but I drink a lot outside. And drinking, you know, it affects uh, the kidney. So, because of that, I don't think I can donate a kidney to that, you understand? So I won't give him a bad kidney. Now you the first son. You don't reach time to show working. But I'm going to donate kidney. Me, I cannot. Wait. Me, I'm too young.
Sir, none of your children have been able to accept for the kidney transplant for now. Um, based on my profession, I'm not supposed to be telling you this. But I feel I should let you know what is really happening. That is why I'm telling you right now. What will I do this time? Will I die like this? No, 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 no. You're not gonna die. Okay? You have to be strong no matter what happens. I promise you we are gonna do anything within our power to find an alternative measure to make sure that we find a way or means to carry out the transplant. For now, you have to relax your mind. Please tell them again. Beg them. Or should I beg you? No, no, no. You don't need to. Right now, all you need to do is to relax your mind. I'm going to talk to them once more. But whatever that happens, I promise you we are going to make sure that we carry out an alternative measure for a successful operation, sir. Meanwhile, Miriam have got to get you something to eat, okay? Once she comes back, make sure you have your food. Okay? For now, I have other patients to attend to. I'll be with you maybe in the evening. Um, thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. I can't thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Not yet, sir. Sister Charles, can I see outside? Mira, is there any problem? Did that happen? Mm. Guys, let me just let me see. Let's go. Doctor, about kidney transplant for that. Okay, what about that? So I also learned that you guys did not agree to donate kidney for him. What are you trying to insinuate? See, if there's anything you want to talk about, please just be fast about it. I have somewhere I might ask So I have decided to give that one of my kidney. You want to give that one of your kidney? <laughs> Do you know the consequences of um, the action you want to take now? So I really thought about it. That has been good to me since he employed me. He doesn't deserve to die. He deserves to live. Um, Miriam, you see, it's not as if I don't want to give that one of my kidneys up. But you know, I drink too much. Eh? And drinking, you know, it can affect the kidneys. So that is sick already. You understand? Giving him one of my kidneys now, that might be bad, would be detrimental to his health. You understand? So that's, it's not as if I don't give him the kidney. Eh? It's fine, sir. I don't want that to die, so I'll give him one of my kidneys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a good one. Let's see the door. Okay, sir. I am ashamed of both of you. Do you even think? Do you reason? You want your mate to donate kidney to your father? Your own father. You don't even think about the risk attached to it. You want your mate to donate. Doctor, I think you need to watch your tone right now. I mean, you're not talking to kids. Why would you talk to us in such manner? You are only concerned about the tone I'm using to talk to you. But you are not concerned about I the health of your father. Doctor, 
Please, all these things are not necessary. You want a donor, you've got to a donor. Can we just... You know what? I'm so disappointed. I'm so ashamed. Doctor, your disappointment is not going to take care of my father's health. We have a donor. Let's do the needful, please. Moreover, the young girl is not doing it for free. Nah, we'll pay her. So let us get down to this already. I'm so ashamed. You just have to stick around and see what will come up next. Meanwhile, guys, whatever it is she needs, make sure you guys prepare it for her, please. Ah, uh, no stay with us. I have to rush to the office to handle something, but I'll still come back again. Alright. Alright, Zika. <laughs> I have to drink first before I confirm what you're saying. Mm. You mean seriously that she decided on her own to do this for you people? <laughs> Mark. Yes? Now so good, big brother. Hey. Huh. Eh? Do you know that this thing that we are talking about, there are so many families, friends, relations, even organizations, Writing and writing, calling and calling, all to no avail. That is what people are getting on a platter. Just like that, with no complaint. See, um, with the way this thing has been going so far, yes, it will tell you that God's hand is in it. Baka ah. God's hand is there, 100%. I never saw it coming. I never saw it coming at all. You see, I won't, I won't lie to you, at a point, I even became ashamed of myself. See, you, know? you don't need to be ashamed of yourself as we speak now, currently. What you should be talking about, what should, you, you, as in, should be your concern now is how both of them will have a successful surgery. Mm. Yes, that is, should be your prayer point. So that your father will be there and the lady or the girl will be there. So that there will not be, in fact, we will not have any sad story. Mark. With the way this whole thing has been going so far, mm -hmm. God has already showed Himself. You understand? Yes. So since this thing has been like this already, God cannot just bring us halfway and leave us now. You understand? Uh, if yes. it's for the surgery, is a done deal. Done deal. You My brother, is a done deal. One minute. For you have a call. Yes. Hello. Yeah, John. I'm in the office. Wow. Just like that. Okay. Okay. I'm coming. Now. What happened? The doctor wants to see us. I hope there's no problem. Mm, I don't have an idea. So uh, let's go there. Maybe they are done with the surgery or something. All right. When you're done now, we'll, I will link up with you later. All right. Hmm? Oh, no. I like you, man. <laughs> when you come out, you can love your face. I'm following you. When have I started coming your face, man? Please, um, where is Mr. Charles? Oh, I'm here. 
We lost him. Whoa! So my dad? Where is he? So he's it? my dad. He's my father. He's my father. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Dad, if there is something you need to tell us, I think it's best to start talking now. I mean, we, we, you needed a kidney transplant some moments back. So what's going on? Talk to us, please. I don't like this at all. For your information, I am not sick. What? And I did not undergo any kidney transplant. No, no, Doc, wait, wait. Is this a joke? Is the sickness getting into another thing? No, um, Alpha, please, please, calm down, okay? Allow me to speak. Everything is a camouflage. It's a big test. I tested all of you, and you all failed woefully. So none of you can volunteer to give me his kidney for my sake. And you said you all love me. Even you, that calls himself my first son, could not donate his kidney to save my life. But listen, ab about the kidney issue, it's not as if I didn't want to give you my kidney. You understand? You know I drink a lot and my kidney might have gone bad. Eh, hey, you, you are so you're already ill. If I give you this kidney, it, it, it will not be quiet. You are there to take my estate, to take everything I have. You couldn't give me your kidney to save my life. And you! I know the money I spent on you! Doctor, to take you to the best of the best in the whole world. That would be too quiet. And you, even you, even you, even you, I knew what I did to make you the best lady on earth. And even my last month, you couldn't do anything I, to save your dad. I, I, I just got into the university last month, I'll be last year. 
Just can't. I'm, I'm too young. To donate your kidney? Yes. Okay, let's see how it goes then. For your information, I have a private medical office. And none of you will get the best huh? of it. What? My property has been divided into two. Maybe I'm my name to take how? one of my parents. How? How? Yeah. Okay. And the rest of you. How? Okay. No, 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 no. Like, are you <laughs> The housemaid? Uh, no, now, come on. No, yes. It's not. That's yes. no bigger. Yes. No, now, no, no. no. Yes, it's <laughs> well. An outsider that decided to save my life. She has half of my house. Uh, hey, everyone, everyone, everyone. Calm down, calm down. Um, Dad, listen. Um, recently, I think you've just decided to go into content creation because you just pulled a prank on all of us. So it's clear this is also a prank, right? So um, we, 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 we do not have any issues with you at all, right? So if you just show us your camera and you tell us you're trying to prank us, we'll even play along. You just pulled a heavy prank on all of us, so no issues. You understand? But if you are not joking, and you want to tell me that I would stay and watch my inheritance get taken over by a common house help who you picked up from the gutters? <laughs> let me tell work. you. Let me tell you. My lawyer has prepared all the documents, no, and no, he will no, be no. coming to the house tomorrow no. to hand each and every one of you a copy. No, no such thing will happen. Never. Well, I'm not here to banter words. Never. Please stop this now. That please now. That you can't be so bright, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, gentlemen, I have to go out. Come, my friend, you stop speaking that English. This is a hospital. We don't want no English. You don't tell me that nonsense. I will. I've made multiple transfers to you. Security. You can help the next thing I say. Oh, that's actually. Yes, you. Security. Oh, that's security. My God. That's his device. You are a fucking fraudster. Oh, that will put this vote. How can you do this to your fellow man? I'm going to put this a vote on you. Oh, yeah. Right now. Mm -hmm. Security. To hell with security. Why? 